today I've got exclusive access to a new Too Simple program as an extension to Purple Mash that no one outside of their company has seen. This is called Mini Mash and it's made exclusively for early years. Let's have a look at the original Purple Mash. So you can see here I've loaded this up on a PC but you can also load it up on an iPad. It's got a menu here with lots of different online activities that your children can access. And the early years is right down here. We've got paint projects and you've also got a big menu here. have to go back through here and there's some early years section here. Of course this is okay as an adult to navigate but as a child they will find this quite difficult. So the people at Too Simple have designed a new interface which they're calling the virtual classroom that the children can navigate. So let's have a look at the new program. As you can see here they've laid it out like a classroom. Reading and writing, numbers and counting, trays, games, simple city. If I click on the door it goes to another section. Go outside. So here are the colouring activities. Music, drawing and painting, roll play. So if I go back inside, let's have a look. So within there, now it's loading up that same menu system that we saw on the old Purple Mash, but it's just in a much clearer format. It doesn't have a lot of other buttons that the children can accidentally click on. In the corner, you've got a nice clear X if they want to exit the program, and they can scroll along to choose the ones that they want. Numbers and counting. They can save their work online and you can review it. Numbers and counting. Trace. Games. You can see here that if they've saved work it will all go in their tray here with their own name on. Games. Simple City. I really like Simple City. I use this a lot with the children. There's lots of different games here if you've never played it and there's lots of links here to numbers, counting, um, role play. So for example you can go into the garage and you can see here you can watch a video slideshow about somebody describing about the garage. There's some other suggestions and slideshows here. There's build a car here and you can print them. There's also uh, here, I love this one, the children love, love making this in my class, where you can drag in the different letters. It says the sounds as you do them. And I think on this one, when you press play, the bus will go the way. So it's also an interactive picture as well. Click back, some nice clear descriptions here, you know, the nodding head and the shaking head. Again. Okay, go outside. Music it. section. Building beats and exploring sounds. So as well as the templates, you can also go into some of these ones. This is a very nice art program because from here you're you're limited on the page again with how much information the children are given. There's not a lot of buttons up here that they can accidentally click on. Got their crayons down here they can change the size of the brush and they can fill the background and then they can click on this menu and they can save it to their file you can see here role play this is really nice if you do have it plugged up to a computer they can actually take a photo of themselves inside one of the different characters so if, you, if you're teaching a topic or there's a particular child with a particular interest in being a ghost or being a gardener, you can actually create a picture with them dressed up as that person. And then you could create an interactive book, they could write sentences about it, do a topic book. Lots of nice ideas here. And you can see here some of the pre-made templates, which are very nice, especially for nursery level. I think this one's symmetrical, so if I draw on this side, I think it 
and get the other side. Children are fascinated by this one. Okay, one of the other things that they've added onto this program which I like is you might have noticed in the top right hand corner up here where it says feelings, this can be customized to your class. So you might not want them to access every single thing here. You might want to set you might want to ask them to focus on something in particular. So here it's a tab. They click on this. You can choose up to five things that come up on this side here. So maybe you know that week you'll focus on the grocers and then that will take them straight to all the grocer activities. And from there I'll show you how to get to that. You go to Mini Mash and you go down to edit pins. On the right hand side here you can see all of the pins that we have on the classroom at the moment but you can see all about me, baby animals, builders, castles, Christmas colours, dinosaurs, farm, garden, growing, mini beasts, numbers and you just click add to add it on and that number one's now added on to those. So if we click down here, oops, click on this one, scroll down There we go, numbers is in the middle there. And then if I click on that one, it will take me straight to all of the activities that are linked to numbers. What I also like about this program is that if we go to the menu system here, there are some links to the UIFS. If I click on that, it will download um, a document which seems to be linked to some of the kind of development matters and early years outcome documentation that we've used. So that can inform your planning or you can see where it fits in with the curriculum and it tells you what activities you can use and where it is linked in. I hope you found this interesting and useful. I'm not sponsored by Too Simple or have any affiliations with the company. They've just allowed me to have a preview to show and share everyone. I hope you found it useful. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Bye.